Alright, let's see this new Apple Vision Pro from MKBST, I guess. That's a nice polishing cloth. People were comparing it to the when the rest of those come out. So maybe it skips the entire cars, thing. Come on. But the headset is relatively small. Shout out to Jerry, everything for the knife. Oh, it's the box. And uh, inside. This is a really soft box. Whoa. And this here is a third little box. He puts here, hold on. They sold 200,000 so, units. Is that this good? This is an incredibly flimsy box. Terrible. But I'll just take this one out. So the three Man. things we have now are. What's the price of this thing? Vision Pro has. Isn't like 3.5 gig or something? In this box. The How did you Vision buy that, Pro though? Zeiss lenses. So these are optical inserts. So if you have a prescription. Then these come in the box and they will guys, magnetically attach guys, to. Guys, here's a good take. Here, here's a good take. A high price product for something cutting edge like this draws the market away, doesn't foster a market. It's terrible. What? They should be looking to um, do the opposite. But didn't they sell like 200k already? Widen the market for people to do interest to create software for the product by making something that is cheap and affordable for people to get into it so that people think, oh, people are going to buy this in the future. Let's make games. There's no way Apple is going to do this. that. Bro. Otherwise, it just slows on the product even more. Nobody making games that is or anything that is relevant to this dog. It's useless junk. Do the headset, so if you wear glasses, you can still use the headset. And this is the optional $200. You're saying that you can buy it now. Come on. Vision Pro travel case this thing this is a whole aesthetic i'll get to that in a second i'm just gonna leave that right here go, but go. this is the hill set bucks. Itself. it's gonna slide yeah. man it's like a shoe box okay so there's the headset so the headset comes with this little cover on it and it's dressed up with one of these bands this band right here is the one that you see in all the commercials it's this really soft it seems pretty heavy stretchy fabric material and it's in this sort of cardboard head this is the solo knit band there's another band though that i'm pretty sure comes with this that is called the dual loop band so band, huh? put this to the side real quick yep 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 this is not your last in this I don't know how many engineers they have on the project, okay? I don't give a okay? You put a lot of hours in this. This band smells like cancer. Uh, you cannot convince me otherwise. This is cancer. Like shoe yep. box size box. That's right. So this pops off. This is quality. And then we're in- mm, So that's inside, your headphone. Which is a if you don't clean it. California pamphlet. Oh, I bet there's stickers in here. Oh, there's a microfiber too, okay. Then there is. So that's a wash it, dude. Man, rook, rookies. Oh, I think you get two of these. Yeah, there's one thin light seal and one thick light seal. I'll get to that in a second. And at the top, there's a lot of explaining to do. Some more heavy Vision Pro paperwork. And this is the dual loop band. So this is the second band that goes both around the back of your head and over the top of your head. We'll try that out for comfort over the solo knit band. And then there's your power. So the battery that comes with the Vision Pro is this thing right here. It's all very white. Everything in this box is either white or silver. It's pretty heavy. What is that thing? So this smells pretty new <laughs> it's got this uh white braided cable and i don't know if apple's even called this magsafe but at the end of this cable is one proprietary oh, connector here comes. Right there. and that connector is what plugs into the side of the headset and this is the battery the two and a half to three hour battery that comes with vision pro huh. it says on the back actually 3166 million hours i know a lot of phones that have 5000 million hour batteries that feel much lighter than this so i'm curious why this feels so heavy but that's the battery. And then in order to get more than two and a half hours. Terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Or to charge the battery, you have no, USB-C, 
and the wall brick. So let's see what the wall brick says. I hope it charges fast. Nobody wants to go around looking like a fucking Android bot on a leash with a fast pack. Nobody wants to do that. 30 watts. I don't think it's for walking. So not super fast, but this is a 30 watt brick USB type C. I think you're going to wear this in the home. And then right? a C to C braided cable. Okay. That's it for the inside of this box. So now let's go over these accessories. So, okay, let's do the paperwork first. This is probably the most common stuff. Everyone's going to get this. This is a little booklet of what's in the box and a sort of a first. And that is all the uh, pairing it to your iPhone, putting it on for the first time, connecting the straps. I'll show you guys this. Oh, and even how to store the cable around. If you want to jack off with this, okay, a $200 product will do just as good as this. Sorry. On the battery. So what? apparently you do not want to wrap it vertically, but you do want to wrap it horizontally with a little bit of slack. Okay, I bet there's I bet there's stickers. So polishing cloth, and that is a different it. polishing cloth to the one that comes with their monitors. How did oh, you nice know? That's a nice, that's a nice polishing cloth. People are comparing it to like twenty dollar polishing cloth for the studio display and the pro display. This is a different polishing cloth. The front of it is glass. You're probably gonna want to use this to wipe it down once in a while. So I feel like it's a microfiber I'll keep. I know some people unboxing this who are gonna be very disappointed in the lack of Vision Pro themes. There is so, there is so little content and games with VR. If you if you have bought a VR. And if you have not jacked up with VR, you are mm -hmm. failed at everything that you stand for. If you have bought VR, okay, and you have chance. not jacked up with it, you have failed. You are a loser. Stickers. All right, so when you it. buy an Apple Vision Pro, everyone actually has to go through a sort of a face scanning process. You actually use the iPhone. Basically call them for... With the face ID sensors to measure the depth and scan around your eyes and your face. And you end up with a custom fitted light seal. The light seal cushion is either thin or thick. So maybe you have the optical inserts and you want it a little further from your face or you just want a little extra cushion. This would be the thicker cushion that you would use. Okay. Well, so there you go. That's well, the not do that. But the idea is I the would. light seal around Vision Pro is shaped to roughly match your face. It's not like exactly custom molded. It's more that they have a preset number of different sizes and shapes. And when you do a scan, it picks the one that matches you the best to give you the best version. Business experience is always like the one it's intended for. Off of Vision Pro. And uh, huh, sort of a standard head size, I guess, right there. And if we take this protective off the first time. Wait, I'm just in What is this? There's your glass. A lot this of lights in this room, so it's going to be pretty reflective. But now you can probably imagine why people are going to carry this Vision Pro cloth. Notice it says Vision Pro on the microfiber. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah. So when you get the headset, you're going to notice two things. One, this is the thicker version. This oh, inner version did. pops off. And two, this light seal. This is the custom light seal that pops off. And then you're just left with this. This is the entire computer for Apple Vision Yo, Pro. Yo, I would wear that. It's pretty small. It's not unlike that, a lot of other VR like headsets, flex, but it's got... Uh, this aluminum housing around the outside, you can see the tons of sensors and glass, and it is very front weighted. This light seal is what's ideally shaped to match your face and block the light out. It attaches just like um, AirPods Max. You've seen AirPods Max headphone covers just like that. There you go. And I'm gonna go with the thin light seal cushion. And there's the, the normal look to the Vision Pro headset. Now let's take a, the dual loop band out because this is the other one that, I, there's been a lot of talk about the weight of the Vision Pro. And this is the reason why Apple has decided to include two bands in the box. There are different band sizes as well. So when you measure your head, you're either getting a small, medium, or large size for your bands. So I've got mediums of both of these. For this dual loop, let's take it out. So you can see, there's so much cardboard. Uh, there's two loops, one over your head and one behind your head. Oh, so there's no. a very specific process to taking off and attaching these bands with the Vision Pro. And then, if I'm in the right, yep, this spot right here, this, you just crank this. That's cool, Pete. And it tightens it up. Yeah, and the weight is really basically just now pulling it onto the front of your face. All the weight is on the front, and it kind of lands on your cheeks and on your forehead. This is how it looks in all the commercials. It's the most simple looking band. You can pull the band up or down to yeah. kind of adjust the way it sits on your head. The heavier it is, the more the more it needs a, a power to like um, strap on. Okay, I, I, okay, strap on it, whatever. I feel like, what? guys, I get like sensory overload with that, no? But if there's a lot of pressure toe, on, my, on my head, that might get a little uncomfortable. Pull, so go. to take this band off and switch to the other one, all you got to do is you see this. Uh, that, it's t I this hate that shit. Tab in here, this orange pull tab is just to release the band from the Vision Pro. Like, so if I pull that, guys, it unclicks the metal. Guys, the muscles on your head, they like they fight against it. It's really weird. Because if you don't play a lot of, our, uh, of, of, of VR, you haven't done a lot, you don't know this. Your 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 head one. muscles are fighting against it. Off. It's really annoying. And that's the uh, headset without the band attached to it. And you have I'm these little, you. little pods here over each ear, which are a bunch of speaker drivers pointing down into your ear. These are some seriously small components. They're so dense, though. Like, this is heavy despite being small. So if you want to put the other band on, it's basically exactly as you'd expect. Attaches like that and like that. Like now, that, button. 
change it with Velcro, you can make it taller in the top. That's taller in the back. Better so for like um, sweat and whatever. Top and taller in the back. Oh, that's so much more well distributed. And I happen to adjust it pretty close to my head, pretty much perfectly. Oh, that is going to be man. much easier to wear. But of course, now you have this thing across the top of your head, so not everybody's going to like that. But I think it's immediately a better fit. It's more comfortable. Thanks, Dan. Dan. Okay. I'm probably going to be using that more often. But let's get to this uh, this travel case. So this, I guess, isn't really a travel case as much as it's just like a protective outer layer for the glass since this whole outside, which has a ton of fingerprints already, is just... It opens up and it's got sort of molding in the places that you'd put that. This is where you're... Oh. I do think I'm gonna be trying that. Let's uh, let's boot it up for the first time. Let's get it all set up. So this is what you'll have to do when you get out Vision Pro. Ready? Like that. And that means it's starting up for the first time. Takes about a minute to boot up and then... I'll go right into the setup process, which I'm sure you all want to see on camera. Oh, that looks uh, cool, though. And I see a checkbox. How do I look? Ridiculous? Do I look great or ridiculous? Decent? Okay. I can see you guys. So there's a little hello script, and it's booting. The wire is... That shit has got to go. Figure something out. This has got to go. Not for the first time. But I'm going to save this. All this setup and all of this using Vision Pro, that's going to be the next video. No way. The latency is... So last thing I'm going to show you is the size lenses. Item. If you happen to wear glasses or have a prescription, you will be able to use this headset as well with that prescription with a $100 pair of Zeiss lenses. I think it's 100 bucks for readers and 150 for prescription lenses. Oh, either boy. Way, they're really quite small and they're magnetic. And since Zeiss runs the world of glass, this is kind of your only option is these things right here. All you got to do, though, to attach them is take this off. Uh, bruh. And you grab one of the prescription lenses and you just snap it in place like that. Hope you can see that. It's a pretty strong magnet. I do not have a prescription, but what I've been told is then you go ahead and scan this code with the headset so that it knows what your prescription is and adjusts everything accordingly, which I think is pretty well thought out. But I think that's where I have to end it. So that's stay tuned. Cool. Definitely get subscribed for the following videos because you already know I got to set this thing up. I got to show you. Should I have some very advanced like things about this and okay. very ancestral ones. I feel like the, the product feels like it's very high quality in the ways that are kind of like a, oh, okay, cool. And in the ways that are like very important, it's like a, which is the only problem to have with it. I'm not going to be a big hater, but. You guys how to use Vision Pro. She sure, guys have been talking about it. Am I, am I, am I, am I about this? The stuff? games you can play. Yeah. The, you can have, the movies you can watch. The apps that it has. Guys, There's a lot more. Guys, so get subscribed to see that. And big shout out to guys, is ancestral not good to say because of an archaic? Yeah, I guess I'm telling the, that's just a meme, I think.